Hey there, Riders. Welcome to my channel. I'm Wild Rider. Well, yeah, I'll go with that for right now. Anyways, I wanted to show you the progress in which I've made so far. Alright, so, as you can tell, I've made some improvements since my last video. I've uh, hung things up, which had reduced uh, the parking spot here in which I parked. Well, where I'm supposed to park the SUV. I think the only time in which I was able to park the SUV was like the first week before we moved into this house when we had to make all the improvements that we had. Anyways, I'm probably going to get rid of those and uh, go with some drawers instead. Like uh, cabinet drawers in which you see for filing cabinets and such, but yes. So far, this is what we got going on. And there's the bike still over in this nice little corner over there. Actually, it fits perfect over there. I'd even told my wife on which I considered moving the bike over to where the trailer was at. And she said that would be a stupid idea. And I'm like, after several thoughts, <laughs> after uh, thinking about it, it's like, yeah, okay, that's not going to work. And yes, that is an AC unit there. That does work. That is going to go inside there. Because this garage is not insulated. Things in which they don't do with garages. <laughs> Sorry. I did not spike up my hair, and I haven't had a haircut in about a month. Two months, actually. Anyways. Yeah, here, here's something interesting. So, you see this? See that? That's a pressure washer. That's actually my cooler. That cooler is actually not being used as a cooler right now. That's actually got some small little motorcycles inside there from Sons of Anarchy that I collected. There's like three bikes out of the collection which I liked and those were it. That carpet right there came from my old house in which we just had redone. And that went into the basement. That is actually nice carpet. In fact, uh, I cut up a small little sheet right there for us to wipe our feet because these things are crap. All right, sorry about that. Had to change locations. All right, sorry about that. So, my new office. I'll show you around. All right. There we go. I can't show my work, but never mind the mess that I got. I just pulled out some stuff from here, but yes. This is my office, my new office. And that's my planning board. That's my nice little... I We have had this picture right here since the trailer days when we lived in the trailer. And that was... That was back in 2011 when we got... when we couldn't afford to live there anymore. My setup. My motorcycle picture. And my favorite beach picture. And of course, I get the electric guitar. One thing to do. Sorry about that. There we go. Alright, so. <laughs> I do that a lot. It was pointed out in the uh, previous video in my early days that, and so, and yet so, or whatever. Anyways. So here we are. Uh, it is February 2nd. Um, you saw my garage, and you can hear my uh, Roomba running around right now, making all sorts of noise. If you can't, great! Anyways, so, plans for, the ch plans for this month in February. We are currently getting, um, we think we might finally sold our uh, old house. We're getting what we want for it. Uh, final stages are supposed to be like uh, sometime today. My daughter kind of flaked out on us uh, watching our dogs. We got three dogs, two cats. We also have fish. So we were doing a mad scramble and we thought we weren't going to be able on vacation. Now, 2023 was a hard year for my wife and me. My wife got promoted. I went through hell in, starting in let's see, April with a tenant to tenant migration. I would come in to 2,000 tickets a day, 
I'd have to route these over to various techs. We went through so many techs. Part-time techs, actually. Uh, through this uh, agency that we used, it wasn't funny. It was a high turnover rate because no one could do the work except for the techs that were actually in for the long haul that were on site. So a lot of things were screwed up and the third party that was supposed to be taking charge would not own up to any of the mistakes being made. Because they said, well, this was an unforeseen event and which you guys didn't calculate for, which is on you, not us. The problem is they were in charge of it. In fact, they went through three project managers alone. Now, imagine that type of stress being brought down to a service manager and all of the employees below me. And that complicates a lot of things and burns you out real quick. By September, I was ready to quit. But I also saw the light at the end of the tunnel, which was going to be at the beginning of October. Well, as soon as October hit, things started trickling down all the way down to December. Still, mind you, we're all still burnt out. In fact, many of the employees uh, beneath me had taken vacations. Well, comes February now, and my wife and I want to take a vacation. We had planned our vacation to start doing, getting things ready. My daughter said agreed that she would uh, watch our animals for us during that time, which is a 10-day period, which is our vacation. And probably about a week ago, she flaked out. Just so happened my wife had been talking to another employee and found out that one of the employee's daughters does house sitting and pet sitting. In fact, uh, she does fairly well in regards to that. In fact, uh, I think she's a professional at it, so she does quite well. So we were able to book her for the time for our to house sit while we're on vacation. Uh, we're going down to Tampa Bay area first. Um, and then uh, we'll be heading on over after about three days there, two or three days there. We'll be heading over into the other side of the state uh, by West Palm Beach and hanging out there. Mind you. There is this place. Oh my god. They make the best. Um, oh my god. Grilled cheese sandwiches. I think it's called the Grilled Cheese Factory. Something like that. Anyways, um, I'll post the link. I'll post their link on there. They got a nice little cute unicorn on there. And the employees are excellent. I mean, I went. My wife and I, and my father in law and his wife, we went inside there. We got free items there. We got free desserts. I'm for our very first time being there. So we plan on going to that place again. I'm gonna make that a staple to go there. And we also plan on maybe hitting Crystal River before we end up going to our first place in which we stay. Like I said, travel's probably gonna be about a day and a half. Our plan is to get through Atlanta by 1 a.m. And that's going the speed limit. And I plan on going through the tolls. I am taking toll roads. I don't care. Because at this point, I want to just get down there, get on vacation, and enjoy myself. The sooner we get there, the better. We plan on being down there. We want to enjoy ourselves, actually plan some stuff up. Because this year is going to be a better year for us. Um... We're expected to have our house sold by February 9th, in which then all the proceeds will be going into our account probably about three or four days later while we're on vacation. And we'll have those funds there in which we'll be able to enjoy our vacation. And this year I'm getting a spider. Oh! Update! Another update I need to give you. I blew the head gasket on my SUV. Can you believe that? Me. A guy who watches his car very religiously. Problem is, I was not paying attention to what my car was doing while we were moving. Because we were hauling stuff back and forth to the trailer and because it was just such a short drive, like a five, ten minute drive, 
the car never heated up inside, so I never noticed. Well, turns out I had blown my head gasket and didn't realize that until about three weeks after we moved in. No, two weeks after we had moved in, had done all our hauling and stuff, which I've noticed the unfamiliar smell coming out of my exhaust. It's like, what the hell is that? I go immediately, it's like, that smells like coolant. I take a look at it inside my engine and well, unfortunately, um, there was, well, fortunately there was no coolant inside there. It's like, well, can't be a head gasket because there's nothing going in there. Turns out, at least from what the service rep told me, um, the coolant was actually going into burning as it was going out through the exhaust. And eventually it had gotten into my engine separating more. So once it did that, it screwed up the engine. Now a new crate engine from Ford is somewhere between nine to 10 K. That's with labor costs. A used one is about 5,600. And that's what they quoted me and that's what they told me. And they said, that's what the price is going to be. It's like, all right, out the door with tax and everything. 56.24. Great. That's what I want. So after I took it to the shop, they ordered up the engine. Turns out they got delivered the wrong engine. So they sent that back to get the other engine. During the process of that, the rep has been communicating. Said he'll reach back out to me the following day. Well, following day comes and pass. I reach out Wednesday, it's like, to try to find out what's going on. I get this one guy who calls me. We'll call him John. And he wants to know why I called him. I was like, well, I left a message there. And the reason why I called is I wanted to know what the progress of my vehicle was. It's like, oh, okay, uh, looks like they're working on the engine. But do they have the right engine? Uh, let me go check. Then he hangs up on me. Puts me on hold for probably about 20 seconds and hangs up on me. So I end up calling back, leaving another message. Not hearing back. I go to the dealership after picking up my wife from work, wanting to know what the hell's going on. Turns out the rep I had been working with got terminated. <laughs> it's like, great, I'm just getting all sorts of bad luck with this thing. So yeah, um, all we know is it's being repaired and we'll, I'll have the person that's taking over that person's tickets to reach out to him. So the following day, I get a text message from the manager telling me that your car's being taken care of. Um, it'll be ready by 5 o'clock on Monday um, of next week, as it is Friday. And we'll be good We'll be good to go. It's like, okay, well, is the price still going to be the same? So says, yes, the price is still the same. Good. I wonder if it's still got the same mileage that's on the engine that I had, but... You know how these places go, so we'll find out. Maybe it was quoted or on miles, maybe it's gonna be less, maybe it's gonna be more. 60,000 miles for the engine, eh, okay, but my SUV had over 100,000 miles on it, so it's like, huh, all right. My wife says I got three years, I gotta do, let's see, we got the vehicle back in 27, so, all right, 2017. And then we got a, then in a few years we can get myself a new vehicle. I was like, great. Then a few years after that, she'll get a new vehicle. We'd like to make our vehicles last for at least 10 years, at least brand new. Unfortunately, we didn't have the ability to be able to do that beforehand, but now we do. And this year I'm getting a Spider. Don't know what year yet. And I plan on customizing it. I, might even get some wrap done or try to find something that'll work that'll personalize it to me but i'm thinking about keeping the harley as well keep the harley and the spider that means i won't be able to park in the garage but i get a spider or i get a harley the spider is mostly so that way i can take the wife out traveling and such and she can learn how to travel too or learn how to ride on that thing. So that way she can get her motorcycle endorsement. But 
yeah. So that's what's pretty much going on right now. I know this is a long video. I'll probably end up uh, cutting a good bit out of it in editing. So it is what it is. I got to get back to work. Y'all ride safe. And I'll see you on the next ride.